Hi there. I just wanted to give a quick review of how I've set up my own Firefox web browser since we just finished that web browser assignment. So I'm a huge fan of Firefox and there's a number of features that I use that I, I just couldn't live without and they keep me from trying completely some of those other browsers out there, especially uh, Chrome and Safari and of course IE. One of my favorite features on Firefox 3 has got to be adding the keyword search for anything. As an example, um, here's the Newegg website. I can go to their search box. I can right click certainly, add a keyword for this search, and I'll go and type in Newegg, and for keyword I'll put in egg, and then add it. So now, no matter where I'm at, if I'm on a different web page, I can just go to my browser's address bar and just type in egg and USB drive and it'll perform a search over at Newegg for USB drives. I love this feature so much because I'm constantly searching different sites for things and I've set it up quite a bit already. I could do a Google search by typing in the letter G USB drive. That'll perform a regular Google search for me. I've already rigged it up so that I can type in GI USB drive to do a Google image search. I can type in A USB drive and perform an Amazon.com search and several other sites that I like to search at regularly including the local public library and, um, and a few other online retailers. So that's probably one of my most favorite features. Another uh, feature that I use, and it's, it's an add-on, which really isn't obvious from what I'm doing here, but I use Foxmarks. And in fact, let me go ahead and bring up my list of add-ons. And in order to bring up my list of add-ons, I'm going to use another Firefox add-on. I hide my menu bar, so you can't see my menu bar up there. But if I press the Alt key on my keyboard, menu bar appears, and now I can go to Tools, and I can look at my add-ons. So I've been using Firefox for a while, and as you can see, I've got a pretty large list of add-ons on here. Um, Adblock Plus, pretty common one. Some I don't really use much at all. Cool Iris, you checked out in your assignment. Download status bar is pretty nice. You can actually see in your status bar the progress of a download, so you know how much is left. That's, pretty, that's a pretty good one to go for. Firebug, Fire FTP, really good if you're into web design. Flag Fox is mostly a little cutesy one, but it shows the nation <laughs> of where the server is located for the website I happen to be on. So if you see up here in my address bar, I've got the little American flag, so the Amazon servers are in the U.S. Uh, Fox Marks Bookmark Synchronizer. I really love this one a lot. Um, I use, obviously, different computers. So I've got a couple computers at home, I've got my computer in my office, and of course there's a number of computers that I use throughout the campus. And I have the Fox Marks add-on installed on all of them. So basically, if I bookmark a web page here at the school, when I go home, I'll have those bookmarks. And you know that little uh, keyword search that I just made for a new egg? you know that I can type egg in a search that's technically a bookmark so when I go to my computer at home tonight I'll just be able to be able to go to the address bar type in egg and whatever word that was and I can perform a search there so I don't have to create those bookmarks at every single computer that I use so I'm a really big fan of that I also use portable versions of Firefox so I can put them on my USB drive or in my my documents folder at school so I can access them from different computer labs there's the hide menu bar one that I actually like because it gets the menu bar out of the way, takes up, you know, it's taking up space, and I don't use it too much. And I just press the Alt key when I do need that. IE tab I use a lot because there are a number of pages that uh, I just prefer to look at in Internet Explorer. Microsoft web pages is a good example. Also, the school COCC, COCC Outlook web access page actually looks and works better in an Internet Explorer mode. There's the minimap add-on that I uh, referred to in the assignment. There's an opera view, kind of like an IE tab. Uh, Picnic is pretty neat. We're going to check out Picnic uh, in a later assignment. It's an online image editor, really pretty cool. And there's an add-on that it makes it easy for me to edit pictures right in Picnic that I see on the web. The print print review. A lot of people mentioned that they probably wouldn't use that too much, and I can understand that. Um, there are a number of web pages that I print, though, so I like to just be able to look and see how it looks in print review first, and that makes it a little bit more convenient for me. Um, server Spy gives me some information about the browser, or about the certainly the server, and what uh, 
server operating system it's on, which is kind of interesting to me. Uh, speeder URL shorter. I do use, obviously, tiny URL quite a bit, and I haven't really got into using this one. Split Browser, one of your classmates just told me about this. I haven't really tested it out, but it sounds great. I'm a huge fan of StumbleUpon, so in the lower left corner of my browser, I have my little StumbleUpon button. It's a great service, free account, and you check off a whole bunch of different categories of websites that you like, and you just hit your StumbleUpon button to get a random page within the topic that interests you. And then you can rate them thumbs up or thumbs down to improve the ratings and some web developer tools. So this is just a list of all the add-ons that I use. Obviously I use some daily and I use some hardly ever, but it's just another way that I can customize Firefox. Other than that, got some pretty familiar stuff. There of course is my cool iris, there's a pick lens feature, ad blocker, and multiple tabs with tab icons. So I'm a huge fan of Firefox and uh, hope you liked it enough that you'll try it a little bit more and just so you know that there's other options out there.